Did you know that over 80% of people who try to lose weight actually fail? Shocking, right? It's almost like there's some hidden secret that no one talks about. Or could it be that we're all just falling for the same old weight loss myths? Today, we're diving into a weight loss secret that many people overlook. And trust me, it's a game changer. We'll be looking at insights from Barbara O'Neill, a well-respected health educator who's been shaking things up in the weight loss world. If you've been struggling with weight loss, you definitely want to stick around for this one. If you are interested in this topic, type, I am ready. In the comment right now, just comment, I am ready. When I see your comment, I will give you a heart. And if you want to help the channel, leave a like and subscribe. It takes less than a second and help the channel a lot. Let's face it. The struggle with weight loss is real. So many of us jump from one diet to another, trying everything from low carb to intermittent fasting, all while hitting the gym hard. But guess what? Most of these traditional methods leave us feeling frustrated and defeated. If you have had this experience, comment, been there. If you've ever felt frustrated with dieting, we often end up yo-yo dieting, where we lose a few pounds only to gain them back, and then some. It can feel like a never-ending cycle. People get tired of counting calories, measuring portions, and spending hours sweating it out in the gym, only to see minimal results. It's disheartening. So what if there was a different approach, one that doesn't leave you feeling deprived or exhausted? This is where Barbara O'Neill comes in. She emphasizes a more holistic approach to weight loss, focusing on lifestyle changes rather than just following strict diets. One of her key principles is the importance of whole foods foods that are as close to their natural state as possible. Barbara encourages us to rethink our relationship with food, suggesting that instead of viewing it as the enemy, we should embrace nourishing our bodies. She also talks about the role of stress and emotional eating in weight gain. By addressing these root causes and making sustainable changes, Barbara has helped countless people achieve their weight loss goals without the stress and frustration that often comes with traditional methods. So, what's the shocking weight loss secret that Barbara promotes? Let's revisit a topic we've touched on before. Carbohydrates. When discussing diabetes, we looked at this, and we'll do so again in the context of weight loss. The high-carbohydrate diet that many people follow today is a key player. Bread, cereal, and other carb-heavy foods are staples for many, but by mid-morning, cravings often strike, leading to more carbs cakes, muffins, pastries, and so on. It's a cycle that's all too common. As a fifth-generation Australian of Scottish descent, I didn't encounter pasta or pizza until I was about 18. My childhood diet was simple sausages, mashed potatoes, and frozen vegetables, with roast lamb on Sundays. Everyone I knew ate this way, and I thought it was universal. But as I grew older, I realized there's a whole world of dietary choices out there. Sugar a major component of modern diets is particularly concerning. This pure, crystallized acid from sugarcane has become ubiquitous, and as sugar consumption rises, so do issues like obesity and diabetes. It's striking how our eating habits have changed over time. If you're enjoying this content, please click the like button. If you're new here, Subscribe to help us reach 100,000 subscribers. Comment, I subscribe, if you already have. Thank you for your support. Now, let's talk about how the body processes glucose. When we consume carbohydrates, they break down into glucose. Initially, glucose fuels our cells, but once our energy needs are met, the excess is stored as glycogen in our muscles. 
These glycogen stores are crucial, especially in the morning when our bodies need fuel to start moving. However, on a high-carbohydrate diet, once glycogen stores are full, excess glucose is converted to fat. This is why cutting fat from our diets while loading up on carbs can backfire. Fat is essential for feeling satisfied after a meal. When people eliminate fats in an attempt to lose weight, they often end up eating more carbs, which leads to more glucose, more glycogen storage, and eventually more fat accumulation. This process is particularly problematic in high-carb diets, leading to increased weight gain, especially around the abdomen, a dangerous type of fat known as visceral fat. Dr. William Davis, in his book, Wheat Belly, emphasizes that the combination of sugar and hybridized wheat found in most processed foods spikes blood sugar levels quickly, resulting in more fat storage. He also highlights that fat burns at 9 calories per gram, while glucose burns at 4. This fact is often used to argue against fat consumption, but it overlooks the role of fat in providing sustained energy and satiety. One of the best things you can do for weight loss is to eat a substantial breakfast. I often say that I eat lunch like a king and breakfast like a queen. But whatever the order, the key is to start your day with a solid meal. Type breakfast is key. If you agree that a good breakfast is essential. Unfortunately, many people do the opposite, eating little during the day and feasting at night which is like filling your gas tank just before parking the car in the garage. It's inefficient and counterproductive. Consistent, balanced eating throughout the day is crucial for maintaining energy levels and supporting your body's natural rhythms. Breakfast jump starts your metabolism, lunch sustains your energy, and dinner should be lighter to support your body's wind-down process. Plant-based proteins offer a cleaner burning fuel compared to animal proteins, which leave behind acid waste. Dr. Colin Campbell's The China Study reveals that animal protein, when consumed in excess, can create an acidic environment in the body, which is detrimental to health. In contrast, plant proteins burn more efficiently, providing a superior source of energy with less waste. Moreover, Fat is essential for brain health. The brain is the fattiest organ in the body and requires good fats to function optimally. A fat-free diet, combined with cholesterol-lowering medications, can be harmful, leading to neurological conditions like Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, dementia, and Alzheimer's. For effective weight loss, incorporating healthy fats, plant proteins, and regular physical activity is key. I also recommend drinking plenty of water and engaging in high-intensity interval training, HIIT, which has a powerful impact on cellular energy production. HIIT involves short bursts of intense activity followed by recovery periods and can be done in as little as 15 minutes a day. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, Achieving and maintaining a healthy weight is a journey that involves making sustainable lifestyle changes. Whether you're aiming to shed a few pounds or undergo a significant transformation, the key lies in understanding your body's needs, making mindful food choices, and incorporating regular physical activity. Small steps can lead to significant progress over time. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences, feel free to reach out. Here's to your health and well-being. May you find success and fulfillment on your journey towards a healthier, happier you.